was a seed that grew, and uh, something would come out of that seed. Oh, we knew that the, there was an animal, a big bird, the storch. When I was four years old, our neighbor's cat had kittens, and so I said, I wonder how they got here. And she said, they come out the butt, stupid. <laughs> You've seen the sunlight streaming through the window and all the particles floating through the air. My mom taught me that when dad fell asleep, his seeds would float in the air and, and if one of them landed on mom, she would have a baby. I was nervous many times. I thought I might get pregnant. I always heard that they were little polywogs. Every time I went swimming, I always thought the little polywog would swim up inside one of the girls I was swimming with and they would get pregnant. And then I would probably get blamed. When a boy had to go to the bathroom, if he kissed a girl as he ran past her, she would have a baby. I thought that anything you put your penis into uh, would get it pregnant. So I went to the backyard and I tried it on a tree. It made me kind of think that sex really isn't as exciting as I thought it would be. God decided that your stomach was like an oven and it just opened up like a little compartment. <laughs> and the baby was put in there. I always felt that um, babies came out of the poop chute. And whenever I felt very constricted, like really had to push when I was in the bathroom, I felt there was a chance that a kid would pop out of my butt. <laughs> So I would always bend over because I had this big fear that the kid would drown in the water. There was a girl I kind of had a crush on named Debbie Shattuck. And I remember thinking, I, I'm not, I, I, there's no way I'm sticking my penis inside Debbie Shattuck. We're going to have to adopt. And then, I don't know what happened, but I remember thinking, I could, I could put my penis inside Debbie Shattuck. That would, that would be okay. It was a rough time, actually, you know, but... Uh, Probably would have been better to know everything. I don't know that I, I would have had as carefree and imaginative a childhood had I known actually how this damn thing works. <laughs> I think it probably does more harm than good. Well, first there is nothing. Then there is a tiny egg, and those little sperms come up, and then the egg hatches. Then it starts to grow. Then it grows so big that it's born. The man and the woman, they um, connect to each other and then the man makes the baby. And then they um, uh, put water on a mommy's dinosaur so the baby can come out. That's all you need to know.